Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video like this one. We do daily content on this channel where we talk about different homebrew, how to install different plugins, different emulators, and things like that. So I would really appreciate it if you subscribe. Thank you so much, and I hope you enjoy this video. Welcome back to another one guys. Today we're going to take a look at another plugin and this one is called MP3 Playlight. And this is a very cool plugin because it allows us to play our MP3 tracks wherever we're at on our system. So we can be playing a game and play our music, watching a movie, browsing the web, whatever. So this is a very awesome plugin and I highly recommend everyone installing this one because you always want a game while uh, playing some music so it's always fun and it has a really cool interface I'll show you here real quick and I'm gonna be holding the L and right triggers and now I'm gonna press square and that's gonna play the music and open up this little menu and now we can scroll up and down but we have to hold the L and R uh, button in order for this to work um, which is great and we can change the uh, volume let me bring that all the way down. And you can change your tracks on the bottom, which is fun. And once you enable it by pressing L and R and square, it'll start playing your music. It won't shuffle, unfortunately. It's just gonna play whatever is on your system. And it's just gonna keep playing until you choose to stop by pressing L and R square again, which plays and stops the music and opens up this really cool menu wherever you're at on your system. Let's begin by going on to our browser and going to the first link in the description down below. That'll take you to a Google Drive and you want to download this zip file. It's MP3 Playlight version 3.3 fix. Click on that download link on the top. I was going to say bottom. <laughs> and let's show in our folder. Let's exit out of here. And there is our folder. We want to right click and extract here. And there is our PRX file, which we're going to need here. And let me just reload this. And we can delete that. And we can connect our PSP to our PC via USB connection. There is our USB drive. Perfect. And let's just adjust our windows here real quick. And now you want to go into your SE plugins. If you don't have this folder, just right click, create new, and rename it SE plugins. Let's go into our folder. And you want to drag this PRX file into this folder. Next up, we're going to open the VSH text document. If you don't have this already, just right click, go to new, text document, and rename that VSH. Let's open it up. And in this document, you want to paste this line into this notepad and you want to save that go to file and save and for our PSP go users you're gonna use this here you're gonna use the EFO instead of the MSO for your internal storage so there you go and you want to go to file and save now I'm not going to save it just because I already have it. I don't want to mess with anything here, so we're good to go. And now we are going to go back onto our console and check it out. Now you want to go to recovery mode by pressing select and go to the recovery menu. And then you go down to your plugins and make sure that the PRX is enabled. The MP3 play underscore light dot PRX is enabled. Then you want to go back and reset your device. So to enable the menu, you have to press LR together with square, and they'll start playing the first song in your music folder. Um, and you can pause and play by pressing square here. And then you can go up and down by pressing up and down on the D-pad. And you can select the different options or lower the music the volume by pressing left and right here 
you can go to mode you have normal mode which is just playing the music from start to finish first song to the last song and then we have uh, loop which will loop the one song that you have playing and then we have random which will just randomize all your music which is nice we have mute off zero channel one channel two channel uh, different channels there to mute uh, and we can skip a folder or file and you can overclock it but it's sitting at 222 slash uh, 111 I'll just leave it as is unless you're having problems then you can just mess with that and see what works for you um, but this is such a great app or application or not it's not an application it's a plugin sorry having a long day here I recorded like five videos today it's driving me crazy but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video this is it for this one thank you so much for watching this one took me a while to put together because I just kept screwing up my commentary so thank you so much for watching I appreciate it any questions as always comment down below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribed please subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video like this one take care guys and I'll see you on the next one